We'll see if the Orange Angels can hand Spain their first loss in pool play here at this 2018 edition of the FIFA 3X3 World Cup. What's up, y'all? We hope you guys have been having fun so far. We certainly hope you guys are following us on our show's social media accounts at FIFA 3X3. Use the hashtag 3X3WC and the hashtag watch us play. You can follow your boy as well at 3x3 the voice at 3x3 the voice it's your choice but i don't bite hit me up we got 10 minutes on the game clock 12 second shot clocks no coaches on the court that's how we do in 3x3 and we're getting down to the wire here this is our third day of pool play uh once again three or four days of pool play five day tournament here and we know uh who's gonna be moving on in pools b and d for the fellas and the ladies at the end of the day. D, what we're looking at right now. Underneath, huh? not, maybe not good D. The foul is called on Vega. Underneath the basket, Bettenville putting the pressure on her. She's been balling for the Orange Angels. She's gonna try to draw first blood here. Hungry also in the mix here. Looking on, watching this game is they also have a two and one record with Netherlands. And we'll see how to the very last game of the day against Philippines. Oh, nice move, Media Villa, but she misses the crib right at the front of the rim. So Belt hands it off to Clerks, killer clerks as they say. Gonna work on bottom line, so I like that matchup. Right at the guard spot. Look at Vega, Bell going at it. Bell whistled for the foul on the play. So a couple of fouls apiece, and, and only one score here in the first minute or so of the game. Netherlands on top. But Spain showing, uh, I guess you could say, some, some chinks in the armor just a little bit. And that. Uh, previous game against the Philippines. But a win is a win is a win, as they say. And Spain uh, pulled it out, even with the crowd all against them. And it was loud and crazy in here. By the way, at the end of the month, the C3X3 played in Spain at the Mediterranean game. So teams from countries boarding the Mediterranean bordering the Mediterranean, all invited to play. Great to see 3x3 played in many of the multi-sport games, including the Olympics 2020, in case you didn't know. 3x3 will officially be a, uh, an Olympic discipline. It takes the, the world stage for the first time ever. Palamares launches it, misses it. Out of bounds to the Orange Angels. Spain still looks for the first score. The Netherlands had to get a win against Germany. And they went and took it here to start their second round of pool play action. Martinez d and up Bettenville on the, on the perimeter. Spain eked out that four-point win over the Philippines. Bettenville to Bell. Bell. Jazz short on the two. Martinez now waiting for the pick. Media Villa didn't get the post pass like she wanted. But I think she'll live with it as long as Martinez is able to do that. And Bettenville will be whistled for the foul. Martinez got smacked in the mouth. She's checking to make sure her front tooth ain't loose. Got to keep that Colgate smile. Martinez is an accomplished player, by the way. Member of the Spain 3x3 team that uh, played at the World Cup in 2017. Won bronze at the European Games in 2015. Splash 2K. That's what she does. 3-1 game. Martinez Pratt draws the foul. Spanish fans show her a lot of love. 
competed in two Olympic games in, in basketball in Spain back in 2004 and 2008. She checks out. So it's going to be Vega, Media V, and Paramares. It's Bell, Coit, and Killer Clerks. That, ah, that bucket wiped away. Media Villa using that offhand to, to get some space. And, yep, Whistle had a smaller 2K on her. She wanted the ball bad. She got to do it within the rules, Media Villa. Bettenville misses the shot, and then another quick foul on the Orange Angels, who have picked up, I believe now, five fouls in the first two and a half minutes. Spain not doing much better themselves on that end. So they got four fouls. I think I gave uh, Netherlands an extra foul. They, they have actually have four as well, so four fouls apiece. We're only two and a half minutes into it. Physical between Bettenville and Martinez Pratt. Killer Clerks, the floor general that she is, rounding up her troops and, and getting them, making sure their heads in the game. Saying, "Hey, don't worry about the calls. We can't argue with the refs. We gotta, we gotta play ball." So wait, I was right on the foul situation, as the Netherlands just picked up their sixth, and they're hit with a technical. So they're, they're in danger of being in the penalty. And we're not even three minutes into the game. So after the made free throw, after the tech. Possession also over to Spain. Media Villa setting up shop against Bell. Bell leaning in, trying to use that leverage. But you see the craftiness of Media Villa. She's in her bag as she scores off the glass. Three up. Four fouls on Spain, again, six on the Netherlands. So the next foul, and we'll be seeing Spain shoot free throws already. This is our second to last ladies game of the day. As Pool D gets closer and closer to being decided. Spain a virtual lock if they not a virtual lock, a definite lock if they get a win here, as they would be 4-0. But a loss to the Netherlands would make it a 3-1 record for both teams. And Hungary still with an opportunity to potentially force a three-way tie. Facing off against the Philippines for the last game of the day. This again, foreshadowing a little bit. We got a lot of basketball to be played before any of that is decided. So just kind of setting the table for you. Oh, strong bucket underneath. Martinez Pratt put Spain out by one. Bettenville working on Martinez. These two have been going at him in this game. Martinez comes up on the winning side in that particular battle. Three seconds call on Vega. With six and a half to play. Another look. Look at the passing here from Team Spain. Martinez able to finish it at the rim. Father Maris checking Coit in the corner. Now Bettenville working on Vega. I like the matchups here. A little mismatch now for Coit. And a mismatch down low. For Bell, she takes advantage of Pada Paramares. Gives her a bucket to tie it up for a piece. Much appreciation to our global sponsor, Wilson, our official timekeeper, Tiso, and our founding partner, Nike. Hesitation from Coit. She goes glass, and Netherlands back out in front, so here we go. Back. Down, four, four, four. Medivia, five up now. Belt misses, but does a great job of trying to keep the play alive. She got a hand on the ball, but uh, still ends up being a turnover to Team Spain. As we look back at Belt, Bottomaris try to pull the chair on her, but 
What she ended up doing is letting Bell get right to the to her sweet spot. And as a result, it's five up. Cookies, Coit, I'll take that. You. She finish. Martinez Pratt on the move like the lease is up, but again, no finish. Pass down low, Vega. Misses point blank range. Paramares. Nice up fake. Probably should have just went straight up the first time instead. Goes over to the Orange Angels. And Kareem Coit. Another missed layup. Uncharacteristic of both of these teams. They're fighting hard. Coit has a few words for Martinez. She hits the deck. Another look. It's getting intense out there. Like anything malicious there for Martinez. And when you when you have a spot in the quarterfinals on the line, obviously the emotions start to rise. Coit, nice pass is Bell defended by Media Villa. Deflected out with two two seconds on the shot clock. And still a 5-5 game, under five minutes to play. Netherlands has played a lot better on the defensive end. They had six fouls in the first three minutes of the game. And in the past two and a half minutes, they really played a lot smarter on, on the defensive end. Both, both teams just hovering, in on, hovering around that penalty. Netherlands the closest, obviously, with six fouls. Spain with five themselves. Martinez Pratt will get the offense going for Team Spain. Media Villa gives it to Martinez. Oh, and the dime. She fit that through the tiniest of windows. And Media Villa puts it up and in. Oh, look at Bell with the hustle. But Netherlands couldn't get the shot up and off. Look back at Spain's last score to put him up six to five. Many of you, deed up by Bettenville. Bettenville setting the screen. You see it, Bettingham actually set that screen backwards. And you see more and more teams starting to kind of employ that strategy. Normally you're taught to pick forward and then roll to the bucket. But uh, some coaches are starting to say pick backwards with your, with your your butt on them pretty much. That way you don't even have to roll. You just pretty much seal the, the defender and then go to the basket. There's that dime I was telling you about, Martinez Pratt to Media Villa. Timing impeccable on that. It's Bell and Killer Clerks. Trying to devise a strategy to get past this unbeaten Spain team. Action on the perimeter. Martinez Pratt with the scoop deep do. It's 7 5, two point game. Clerks, nowhere to go. Forces it up, but keeps it alive as 2K. Oh, she just lost Martinez in the sauce. Quick Vega tied up. They have some words too. Bettenville airmails it, and then Coit going to have some words with Vega. Good job, ladies. Playing nice. You understand? The temperature's starting to rise, along with the stakes. 
7-6, just over three minutes to play. Media Villa with the score. As Netherlands being careful not to foul and give Spain two free throws. You don't want to be too careful as Bettenville and, and Media Villa collide. And another dive from Coit to Bailed to bring it to an 8-7 score. Media Villa knew it was coming. Camped out in the paint. Three in the key call, so a turnover. And Netherlands will take over. It's crunch time, 2.40 on the clock. Again, our second to last ladies game of the day in Pool D. And it's going to come down to the final game of the day. The Philippines and Hungary. A couple of men's games will follow this one. Jordan and Ukraine. Nigeria and Latvia. We'll know the men's two men's team coming out of Pool D before we know what happens with the ladies. Oh, Media Villa, great position. And a soft touch at the rim. Still a one possession game. Two point lead for Team Spain. Two bucks left in this one. Clerks pass Paramades up and off the glass. And Paramades now with the feet to Media Villa. Bell too aggressive on the closeout down low. And that's the seventh foul on Netherlands, and two free throws will follow. Media Villa. She's able to make these. It'll be a three-point lead. Oh, Media Villa, the lefty. She's the first free throw. Go in and out. Second free throw. She's able to hit that. One point game, two point game, excuse me. Clerks hacked at the bucket. She will shoot one. And Spain is within one foul of being in the penalty. 16 fouls. Here's Clerks. Makes the free throw. She's kind of the heart and soul of this uh, Orange Angels team. Media Villa. Just surrounded by Orange. She couldn't see. Throws the ball out of bounds. And the Orange Angels take over. This is one of the games we had circled as, as you know, one of the games of the day. So much talent in this pool. It's going to be a really talented team or two that will not compete for a medal here. Spain not likely to be one as, again, they control their own destiny up 3 nothing. As in three wins, no losses. Oh, a little crossover from Fado Mares. Doing some things to Sharon Bell. A foul call on Fado Mares, which is number two. On her, number seven on the team. And Sharon Bell will shoot a couple of free throws, a couple of big ones. Under a minute to play here. Big shot, free throw is good. Bell stepping up. And knocks the second one down as well. So it's 11 apiece. It's anybody's game with under a minute to play. Here's Vega. Drops one off to Martinez. 
contorts and spins, but can't finish the layup. 40 seconds. 2K. Bell, after a couple of big free throw makes, she doubles up from distance. And it's a 13-11 lead for the Orange Angels. Baramade's trying to answer back. She can't do it. Feeds it down. Martinez up fake. Got bailed off balance and still missed the shot. 20 seconds remaining. Bell's going to clear it. Eight on the shot clock. Netherlands going to be smart with this here. We knew this game was going to be a toss-up as Spain hadn't lost yet. They're on the verge of doing so now. So we'll see. With seven seconds left. It's going to be Spain ball after four big points late by Sharon Bell. Palomares giving her some work right here, but how about Bell always ready to shoot some clutch free throws to tie at 11 apiece. And then she follows that up with a little double dip. Show some love to our official suppliers. Wilson, Sport Court, Sheldy Sports. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, we got Sheldy Sports there. Handle the uh, goals and goals for us. Wilson, obviously the basketball. So Magic Scott, not to be forgotten. Martinez Pratt gets it back from Palomares with three seconds left. Martinez misses the layup anyway, but that would only gave Spain a one point. So a huge win for the Orange Angels. And you can see the men's team and the coaching staff celebrating up in the rafters. Martinez is like a, a deer in headlights there. Would not have mattered anyway. Again, that would have just been a 12 point as the Netherlands win it. 13 to 11, moving to 3 and 1, and dropping Spain to 3 and 1. So now things get a little bit interesting as Hungary, with a win over the Philippines in the final game of the day, could force a three way tie. And again, average points will determine the two teams that will come out of the pool. So that's something we'll keep an eye on as Hungary again will face off against the Philippines for the last game of the day and potentially force that three-way tie. We'll start uh, getting those calculations for you. Meantime, it's time for the fellas to take over. And uh, an exciting game that they'll have to follow here between Spain and Netherlands. A low score. Credit the Orange Angel defense for holding an explosive Spain team to just 11 points. 